This episode of Express Training Bites is brought to you by Promo Corner. Are you looking to support a sales campaign and reach a larger audience? Raise your brand awareness with content sponsorships. For more information, reach out to sales at promocorner.com. This is Express Training Bites. I am Brandon Petrich, and joining me today is Brent. Oh, man. And I asked him how to say his last name, and I almost just said it wrong again. Uh, e. Lenowitz with Lincoln Line. And he is going to be talking to us today about his experience in promotional products and the cannabis industry. So, Brent, take it away, man. Hey, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. And uh, as Brandon mentioned, we have a very special show where I can get give you the uh, rundown of how the cannabis, is infiltra- cannabis industry is infiltrating the uh, promotional market. So about four or five years ago, I had the um, option to develop a cannabis accessory and packaging line for Lincoln Line. Um, We were a little premature before legalization really hit. And, um, you know, we definitely hit, you know, some bumps in the road in terms of the reception of the industry and certain people around the country. But, you know, through the thick and the thin, we were able to, you know, create this amazing line. And we today we have one of the leading lines in the industry. Uh, as you can see here, these are some of the products that we offer. We have everything from the barrier bags that are smell proof and child resistant to rolling trays, ashtrays, rolling papers, grinders, concentrate containers, pre-roll tubes, glass jars, etc. So, oh, you know, it took us some time to really develop this line and get it well-rounded. You know, one thing that we really noticed was that this industry was interested in quality. And, you know, it's not not really the average type of product that's in the promotional industry for giveaway, but with the cannabis industry, everyone is all about wellness and, you know, top-notch quality. So based on what we learned from our research, we developed a line that had, you know, all great around price point and also quality quality products. At first, like I said, it was a bumpy road. I mean, you know, there are a lot of different uh, demographics around the country and not everyone was as open-minded to the whole cannabis movement as we were and some other states around the country. Um, You know, we started doing email blasts and some people were really about it. You know, this is a new market, new industry, you know, hasn't really existed ever before in the promotion industry. Um, and so, you know, we had some good feedback, but then we did definitely have some negative feedback. Uh, you know, we would send out a flyer for rolling papers and we would get a response from someone asking us if, you know, we were going to try to sell them syringes next or, you know, a bag of snacks. And, you know, obviously this is a little outlandish, but, you know, the point of me touching upon it is not everyone is fully on board with this just yet. Um, with that being said, you know, I, I, I personally don't believe cannabis is really a harmful uh, consumer, you know, drug in in a sense, you know, not not in the sense of narcotic, but, you know, it it is a medicinal drug that that doctors do prescribe to patients that are severely ill and that, you know, need something other than, you know, pills to kind of get by and and help them, something a little more natural and organic. so, you know, we, we really do believe in what we're doing. And obviously, as you know, over time, this country has really changed course on how they view cannabis and they're going more in the direction of accepting it rather than, um, you know, looking down upon it. And, you know, we're trying to kind of break that, that voodoo stigma that exists. Uh, so just to give you some stats, you know, a, a couple of years ago, 2019, uh, the cannabis industry was valued at $13 billion. A uh, year later, 2020, it reached $18 billion. Through the pandemic, that was kind of the catalyst of the industry, and it jumped to $26 billion, um, which is kind of what's projected for this year. Next year, they're projecting $30 billion. So, you know, th- this is pretty big value for an industry that isn't completely legal yet. Um, just to give you some stats on what is legal and what's not in terms of the state legislation. Um, right now, 10% of the states in the US deem it to be completely illegal. Um, 36% are, uh, are recognizing recreational cannabis, which means you could go into a store like you would a liquor store. And if you have a license, you could purchase cannabis as long as you're 21 and older. 
86 uh, percent of the country recognizes it as medicinal which means you can get prescribed by a doctor um, uh, a cannabis uh, prescription and you're able to go to these recreational these uh, medicinal dispensaries and then 90 percent of the company uh, deems it as decriminalized so you know it's a lot of progress but still in in the grand scheme of things i mean you know this is we're, it's projected to be a 30 billion dollar industry and it's not even completely federally legal so it just kind of gives you an idea of the the potential that this industry has and and where it could go um you know as i mentioned uh we do carry uh, all the really high quality products because that's really what they want you know a lot of people want sustainability biodegradable products in this industry um, child resistant is a big thing as well you know, as it becomes more and more prevalent, um, you got to keep in mind that you don't want someone to get involved, you know, into a product or a flower or an edible that shouldn't be. So, you know, child resistant and the regulation behind that is a big part of this industry. Um, so that's why we kind of make sure all of our packaging does include that, that aspect and factor. Um, in addition to that, I think, um, you know, right now the sky's the limit. I, I we've, you know, like I said, we, we've been in this industry and building this line for the past five years. Um, there's been a lot of progress uh, with, within the past couple of years, you know, as legislation has been passing from state to state and more and more states have been legalized. Um, you know, I, the, the way I see it is, you know, obviously people look at it as wacky tobacco, but in, in my opinion, you know, there are drinkers and there are smokers and some people like to go home and, you know, have a glass of whiskey after a long day or, you know, drink a beer and others like to, you know, smoke a joint or, or uh, smoke a bowl. So, you know, if you compare the two, I personally prefer smoking over drinking. Uh, you know, I think it, your body feels better from it. Um, you don't act reckless, you know, you won't really forget what happened the next day. And, uh, you know, to me personally, those are just the, uh, the upside of, of smoking versus drinking. Um, but, uh, other than that, you know, I am interested in hearing what, uh, you guys think about the industry or if you have any questions, you know, I'd be happy to answer, uh, whatever it is. Yeah. I I'll tell you what this is. I'm and and Brent, thank you so much for coming on and doing this because it is one of those things right now where people are kind of wondering what it is, right? It's right. not quite legal. It is legal. Some places it's, mm -hmm decriminalized does that mean it's legal like they, it's just it's a very muddy water right now and i wanted to bring you on because it is something that is growing and our industry can be ahead of it as or with it as it's growing as well um you talked about one thing that i think is really awesome child proof uh products that is yeah. really cool i didn't even think about that mm -hmm. so uh yeah that's really important um because there have been horror stories where you know, a, a lot of uh, the, the edible side of the industry, a lot of them are candy. I mean, they resemble Reese's, you know, uh, Skittles, you, you name it, gummies, you know, those are the most popular. Uh, so any child that would see that might get into it and, you know, bad news bears. So yeah. powder resistant packaging is very important. Uh, almost all state uh, uh, legislation requires it and regulation is very tight with child resistant packaging. So. Um, that's something that we really did focus on and um yeah uh, you know god forbid anything like that yeah like, and so uh, we talked a little bit before but i, I kind of want you to tell our viewers too uh is uh, there uh, it's that that 30 billion dollar evaluation is not just the sale of of the cannabis it's it's all of the products and all of the tech and everything that goes along with it too and and when we sell promotional products we're not just selling promotional products just to the dispensaries so what are some other industries that are are you kind of see are jumping on this train and are using cannabis style products for their promotions right so um Surprisingly, the music industry is actually huge on this kind of stuff. I mean, we've done everything from uh, country artists to hip hop artists to reggae, obviously. Um, and, you know, it, it's all unique type of accessories. I mean, rolling trays, grinders, pre-roll tubes, rolling papers. I haven't really, I actually, I went to a concert once that uh, an alternative rock band, uh, Cage the Elephant, customized grinders. It was the same type of product that we carry. And that was really cool to see in person. It was just at their merch tent. And it was like, you see t-shirts, you know, you see pins, you see the, 
the you know the typical things that you see and then there's a grinder and uh you know as soon as i started i was like all right i have to buy one and uh you know it's just it's just cool to see how that's being implemented into every industry and um you know another thing that we we touched upon was the fact that this is the first time uh prohibition is existing you know for most most of us and um not only that but kind of for the promotional industry you know like back when pro prohibition happened with alcohol the promotional industry wasn't really as large as it is today and um the fact that you know we are experiencing a whole new market is just a, an exceptional opportunity i mean you know this has never happened before you know this will break the norm of having to you know sell click pens you know selling sunglasses selling beach balls you know you name it water bottles i mean these, these things are all great and, and we do very well with them but like this is fun different stuff you know that you won't really experience at any other time and it's just kind of creating the perfect storm right now that you know we were lucky enough to kind of be in the middle of and uh you know our goal is just uh educate everyone involved and the distributors as much as possible as to you know what the potential is and um you know about the industry in general because it's all just you know like-minded friendly uh users business owners uh and, and workers who just are very happy you know very open-minded and very passionate and driven about what's going on. And, you know, a lot of them have been hustling for a while and had to be underground and, you know, didn't really get the opportunity that they, they deserved and um, which is unfortunate, but it's finally happening. So, you know, it, it really is a, a great industry to be a part of. And, um, you know, it's always a great time whenever you interact with people within this community. That is awesome, man. And yeah. you talked about education and kind of keeping distributors informed. Can you tell me, are you the creator? Did you help create the uh, cannabis packaging Facebook group? Can you tell me a little bit about like what you guys do there and what that group is all about? Yes. Yeah, so I uh, know my sister created that actually. Um, I, I consulted her on certain things and she does, you know, definitely ask some questions about it. Um, so we just kind of try to, you know, inform everyone on what the hottest or newest thing is going on based on the research that we learn and the feedback we get from our clients. Um, you know, I, I try to do my own research myself with the community, but, um, you know, a lot of what we learn is are through the orders that are placed and the, uh, you know, our clients and what they're looking for, you know, what their clients are looking for, because we deal with distributors, obviously. So we don't get to really hear the feedback from the dispensaries or, you know, the cultivators or the processors um, or the smoke shops. So, you know, and those are also uh, different businesses within the industry that I like to touch upon that um, are great targets. You know, it's not just a dispensary or a storefront. You know, there's cultivators, which are otherwise known as growers. There's processors who are uh, extractors and they make concentrates such as, you know, vape pens or, uh, you know, hash or uh, rosin, wax concentrates. Um, and then, you know, there's a dispensary that is kind of the retail establishments. Uh, there's also distributors and wholesalers that have, you know, multiple product lines. Um, there's the smoke shops. Um, and then, you know, in addition to what other industries are involved, uh, the tattoo industry is very big involved with cannabis. Um, and, you know, hopefully we'll see more and more uh, markets pop on board and become involved. Um, so, and I, th I think we will. I mean, like you yeah. said, we're we're in we're in the early days of this. Uh, uh, the past couple of weeks, we've had uh, a lady coming on and talking about uh, cryptocurrency and blockchaining. I mean, that's yeah. another industry that is still fairly early days, and it's going through the same process that the cannabis industry is. And and I think both of those will trend themselves into the promotional products industry. So I felt like this is this is perfect, and I really appreciate you guys putting together that group and Jessica onions at Prom promo corner has been fantastic and watching. Uh, and she did link the Facebook group into the chat. So if anybody is wondering what group we're talking about, it's right there in the chat, just go ahead and click on it after this and go in there and see all the amazing information that they are putting out up there. Uh, and speaking of Jessica, she did put in something here when we were talking about uh, the child proofing and stuff. She says, I remember going to the pharmacy with my parents when I was little and they had a poster that showed how similar uh, prescription medication looked like candy. So we needed to be yeah. responsible with where we store our prescription meds. It's great to see this industry taking the same precautions with the child proof and safety. Uh, uh, that's just, I mean, that's exactly what we're talking about, right? I mean, this is one of those things where 
this is <laughs> like you said, it isn't just wacky to backy. It's not just Willie Nelson on the back of his tour bus. This is an actual industry that is becoming legal and growing. Um, that is really cool. Hey, so I, I, I like this. I, I wanted to, I know I, I told you I was going to ask you this. What is one of the best per like per like promotions? You talked about the cage to the elephant grinder, but what's one of the best promotions you guys have done so far that you're like, well, that is awesome. That's a great way that they used these products. Yeah. Um, like in terms of like a, a, an order that we got for. Yeah. Plant. Okay. Yeah. So, um, so we recently, let me think about it. We, we recently just got an order last week. Uh, this is, um, this hip hop artist, his name's uh, Ray Sherman, Sherman or something like that. Yep. Um, and he ordered uh, a set, almost like a smoker's kit. So it was like, it was a grinder, a pack of papers and a pre-roll tube. And basically um, he, we, and we also offer like a, a zipper bag to put a little kit. So it's almost like a, like a travel, like all in one kit. So it's perfect for that, that industry, because, you know, like if you want to go to a concert, you want to go somewhere, you know, you put everything in this pack and then you're just, good to go and you know no matter where you are you know a, a lot of places it's okay to kind of pull it out and, and roll it up now so you know you could it, it's just the perfect thing to have at a concert and um that was cool because i could you know i i've, I've had that experience before personally so uh you know it, it seems like that was a that was a great idea on their part that is awesome man yeah. uh and you know i can't ask the good question without following up with the bad one now you did yeah. mention it a little bit and we mentioned it in uh kind of the discovery phone conversation too but yeah. you do get those people that will say those snapback comments like oh cool so you sent me a flyer on rolling papers when are you sending me a syringe next yeah. um how, how do you how, how do you overcome those uh those type of comments or do you just kind of move on from them so you know when we it, it hasn't really happened too much lately i mean now at most people will be like you know please just remove me from my list i don't i don't, I don't really like you know uh condone or you know what really get involved in this kind of stuff mm -hmm. um but they're they're actually like polite about it now they're like they're kind of like you know i understand the whole thing and they're like more on board now that it's becoming a nationwide thing essentially um, but they're, uh, you know, they'll just politely ask us to remove them from our list. But back in the day, you know, when I first started this line, uh, you know, my company was definitely, uh, taking a chance on it and, yeah. you know, the amount of time I was spending on it. So when we got those responses, it was, uh, it was demoralizing. I mean, it was, you know, it, it was tough and like, I'd like to brush them off sometimes, but then, you know, you would just hear such outlandish things sometimes. And I, it would be hard to kind of not try to. I don't want to say educate or like, you know, change this person's mindset, but like, I almost wanted to kind of give them my input and my experience mm -hmm. and just like, let them know that I don't contone drug use. And I'm, I'm not, you know, I, I think addiction is a terrible disease. And like, you know, I, I don't see cannabis causing that type of affliction. Um, but in the end, not everyone's going to agree with it. I mean, we, we live in a huge country, you know, huge demo, you know crazy demographic um and and that's okay you know not everyone needs to agree on it and going into it you kind of have to have that mindset i mean you know it, everyone will have their own perspective on things so you know it is what it is um hopefully over time you know come to realize that we aren't drug users and we're not crackheads um <laughs> But, you know, you know, it, 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 everyone just has their own opinion. So it, you're always going to have, you know, those that, you know, select few bad eggs. Um, but, you know, that's that's what they believe in. And that, that's totally OK. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. 100 percent, man. Like I yeah. said, it's we're such a diverse country, um, all walks of life and everybody is here. And, and yeah. I mean, the same amount of people that, you know, call it uh, the devil's lettuce are the same people that think, oh, you know, that uh, that whiskey and wine is is horrible, too. So. Um, it's just, you're not going to be able to get everybody, but, uh, the awesome part is, is as this becomes more legal, uh, this industry is just going to continue to grow and it's going to be continue to be an avenue that distributors can actually go and sell promotional products. So, uh, I appreciate you taking your time out today, Brent, man, this is, this is a very early days in this. I hope we can bring you back on as, as more States become legal, uh, yeah. and as this industry just continues to grow and you get more competition, cause I think there's very few suppliers out there that are offering any type of product that is along this, uh, this industry. So, uh, yeah. congratulations on being one of the first man. Thanks for Yeah. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, a lot of the big suppliers are actually, uh, 
they're not allowed to touch it due to financial reasons. Uh, you know, they, they have, you know, boards that won't accept that. And mm -hmm. uh, that's what we kind of run into, or even bigger, bigger distributors as well. So with that being said, I mean, you know, if you have the opportunity to hop on it, you know, it's not too late. I mean, you're still a pioneer. Like, it's going to be a while until this becomes federally legal. So, yeah. you know, I, I can't stress enough. I mean, the opportunity is endless. And, um, you know, I, I'm fully hands on with anyone who wants to learn more about it and uh, needs any consulting advice or direction. Um, I just want to support the industry myself, you know, not just the promotional industry, but the cannabis in general. I'm very yeah. passionate about it. I'm very involved. And, um, you know, any, any opportunity I have to or someone to be open minded is just, uh, you know, I, I'm just grateful for it. I mean, you know, like I said, going from, you know, asking if I'm selling syringes to people now, you know, we, we send out daily blasts that we have a special exclusive list for. And, you know, people will respond now saying like, oh, please, you know, send me whatever sales tools you have. You know, will you hop on a phone call with me? You know, like send me any samples you have. Let me know some direction. And, uh, you know, I couldn't be more grateful to have this opportunity. So, uh, you know, I'm just blessed to be in this position. And uh, the sky's the limit at this point. That is awesome. You guys, we linked the Facebook group that his sister created and he's a very big part of. Uh, and Brent, how else can uh, people get a hold of you if they want to reach out to you and actually have a one-on-one -on -one conversation and maybe get a little more information? How can people get a hold of you? Yeah, um, you could reach my, in my email directly. It's info at linkinline.com. Uh, I work all hours, so no matter what hour, no matter what time it is, you know, even though it's past 5 p.m. Eastern time, uh, I will get back to you before the night ends. Um, you know, again, we, we are a family-owned and operated company, so uh, we, we take very, a lot of pride in our, our service, and, uh, you know, we think that's the most important thing for this industry now, especially with the big companies scaling and, uh, you know, becoming conglomerates and eating up all these other companies. Yeah, so, no kidding. Uh, you know, service is everything. And especially half the time you call a company, you don't even know who you're talking to. You don't even know if they're in this country. So, you know, we're here, uh, you know, we're, we're here to support whoever, you know, any, anyone who wants to learn more about it and uh, become involved. That is fantastic. You guys heard it here first. Brent, thank you again. Lincoln Line, they're out there. You guys go out there, get all the information that you can. Jump on this train. This is going to be something that is growing. It is there now. It is going to continue to get bigger. Like he, like you heard him at the beginning, there's a massive percentage of the country that has decriminalized it. That's the first step in the right direction. Uh, and it's just going to continue to get better and better from here on out. But that is going to do it for Express Training Bites on the new day the Tuesdays, the first and the third Tuesdays of every month.